Let us now uh, explain the fourth method of uh, image features extraction methods. Uh, this method is based on Wavelet packet three decomposition. The original signal is the image. The image must be uh, color or gray image must be reshaped into uh, one row, uh, one row uh, matrix. Then we apply Wavelet packet three decomposition by dividing the signal into uh, approximations and uh, details. The number of elements here in the approximation is the uh, number of uh, the image size divided by two. Also the details. Uh, so the division is uh, applied by two. The approximation can be obtained by applying uh, formula one. This is the approximation uh, data item plus the following data item divided by two. The details can be uh, computed by applying formula two. The detail element value will be equal the element minus the following element divided by uh, two. Here is an example of how to calculate the approximations and details for the input data set two, four, minus two, etc. cetera. Here, uh, two plus four divided by two, three, the term uh, then uh, here the up, uh, details minus four minus nine divided by uh, by two uh, two minus four divided by two this is minus two divided by two minus one then uh, <clears throat> four minus two two uh, and so on. Here we can uh, get the approximation. Here the number of element will be equal to the number of element in the previous level divided by two for the approximations, also for the details. In uh, our case, in our case, we uh, can use uh, we can use only the approximations. So we omit the details, then we take the approximation, applying wavelet packet three, we get the approximation here at this level. Then if we, uh, if we have to move to the other level, we can uh, get the approximation by applying uh, formula one to get the appro approximation at a certain level. Uh, in this method, we can we we can face some problems because the image size is variable, so we cannot guess the number of levels to get, uh, for instance, four features for each image. Here we can solve this problem by taking uh, one uh, uh, taking a part of the image. This part must be. Uh, multiple of two, so as to get a fixed number of uh, features, or we can take the image histogram, then the image histogram will be taken as an input signal to do the decomposition by getting the approximation. Uh, here, if we want to get uh, four, features, we have to divide uh, 256 by two, then by two, then by two, uh, to get the four features. In uh, MATLAB, it's very simple, very simple to implement this uh, uh, method.
the code will be here in here if uh, uh, if we use the image as an input signal uh, here we have to uh, take uh, in, uh, to uh, set the number of levels in order to get the four but uh, the four features but it is uh, it is not uh, correct for some images we can get uh, four we can uh, for other three if, uh, features for other we can get uh, six and so on uh, here uh, the um, uh, we can uh, use a MATLAB function built-in function uh, DWT DWT to get the approximation and to get the detail then we can use in the second level the approximation uh, and omit the details at the end we can get the uh, features for the images here I think the approximations values uh, as the features they are also unique for each image and here the average time for the 10 previous previously used in previous lectures uh, images the average extraction time was about uh, 0 0.1039 second this method is uh, is very good and we can adopt it to find uh, or to generate the features for uh, the images uh, uh, but uh, the restriction is uh, the number of levels uh, we can uh, use a part of the image here instead of using the whole image we can fix the size to do the decomposition or we can use the image uh, histogram uh, the material will be posted in the description part of the video and uh, these features will be used later on uh, in creating uh, uh, image retrieval system or image recognition system and the phase of features extraction is an important one at the end of this phase we have to get the features database the features database which contains uh, the features of any image uh, for instance four features for each image uh, the features database will uh, be a two-dimensional matrix uh, with uh, four rows if the number of features are with four columns uh, rows if the number of features are four and one column for each uh, image in the image database or in the image uh, folder uh, this database will be useful in the next phases if we are going to build our special retrieval system or digital image recognition system thank you and please describe subscribe and like and we will meet in the future to explain uh, the image retrieval systems or the image recognition systems based on the results obtained in this step of uh, color or gray image features extraction thank you again and goodbye